hey guys what is up we're back with another week of the girl i like forgot her glasses and from episode two we had basically where may and kimura went out with each other on the weekend it wasn't a date as we would all like to assume but it was more so because may her glasses were lost uh when she was on the train ride trying to meet up with Kimura at their location so they went out for some cake and then they got her new prescription glasses and hopefully she doesn't end up forgetting them nor losing them or breaking them but uh given the title of the series um we can expect that for the remaining uh nine episodes okay but let's get into the third episode and see how these two's relationship develop in the girl i like forgot her glasses episode three back at school once more I just this almost feel like a first episode. Why is she acting like a cat? And she forgot her glasses again. And everybody's walking past this like this is completely normal. Oh, they're going home for the day. Is that a cat or what's in the bag? Oh my God. Don't tell me she thinks a plastic bag is a cat. Yeah, she really thinks a plastic bag is a cat. Wow. Not her touching the plastic bag thinking it's a cat. Oh my God. And the bag flew. No, there was no cat. <sighs> oh God. The girl I like picked up a love letter. Oh. Oh, one of the classmates is helping her. Okay. Wow, he feels threatened. <laughs> I don't think Asuma likes him. Oh. I stand corrected. What? Oh, oh, she mistaken him for Komura. Oh, wow. Why did she look so sh- Oh wow.
she's so used to Komura helping her that like for everybody else that tries to, she might automatically think it's Komura. Even if it's a person with black hair and Komura has brown hair. How much time is this girl going to lose her glasses? Pretty much. <laughs> like keep a pair in your bag at this case in this case. No, she doesn't have her glasses today. Why is her eyes so wide? I'm sorry, but she looks a little bit more creepier with wide eyes. Yo, he's still worrying about this. That was a life that was a way to become lifelong the music corner. Okay. Oh, she finally has her glasses. Tori. Oh, it's a play on words. I don't understand this. The only other series I know that had a play on words was Medica Box. I guess. What? Wait, what? What? I don't understand this. Are you sure you're done over there? You don't have your glasses. Why, why does a car cross sound like that? Oh my god. It's a C word. You could say it's a cockroach, my dude. Not them calling a cockroach the C word. Oh. 
Ah, ah, shh. Uh, thank you. I call it the C word. Wow. It flew out. Okay, thank God. I feel them, bro. I do not like them either. You, you didn't forget them, they're on top of your forehead. I understand that though. She's not waiting for you to put on her glasses. Wait, how do people put on their glasses with their eyes closed for real? How do I put on my glasses? I'm trying to remember if I put on my glasses with my eyes closed or do I put them on with, their, with them open? So we're finally getting to the love letter portion. Girls drop their love letter. And now he's gonna think she got the love letter. No, do not open up the letter. To, oh, to run. That's small. I knew he was going to mistake it, think it was her giving it to somebody else. I knew it. But he should be able to tell from her response that it's not her that wrote the letter. Not her going bold. Oh my god. No. Wow. He's going to think otherwise. It's not from her. Not him going. Oh, I'm about to say. Not everybody thinking that May is falling for Azuma. What do you mean you like him? I have a 
feeling he... Mm. Is he going to throw it away or he's actually going to read? Wow. What does the letter say? Not everyone thinking that Mae likes Hasuma. You see, I knew he was going to misunderstand. I knew it! him having a German shopping have to do anything. Now he's just getting the press on his own. She never wrote the letter. As a friend. As a friend? You like him as a friend? Hold on this. Is her like for Komura the same level as Asuma, or is it, or is it a little, you know, stronger? I want to know. I think he's gonna reject her. He's gonna give her a rejection. First off, she didn't even open up the paper. I don't think he's going to accept her. The shortest reply I've ever seen. Asuma knows Komura likes me. My man. Azuma for the win. 
best wingman. And he did this knowing May can't read. <laughs> like, look up, she's, she's blind. So was, the letter is actually meant for Komura. He's been watching them. I hope they become friends by the end of the season. Like, please, so he can ha try to help Komura to get May. Please. <laughs> Does Komura's fear have attracted after my people to read this? Okay, so this episode definitely felt like they were probably, from the chapters they adapted, there were multiple short chapters within the manga version of it, and they, because it felt like three to four different segments. Obviously, the first segment tied into the last segment of the episode with the introduction of a new character. I'm going to guess he's a secondary reoccurring character in, in the series, uh, Azuma, who is known as the pretty boy in their school or at least in their class because he's athletic he's kind he's smart and as Komura said he may have a german shepherd dog and you know what i even though i, I probably said in the reaction um what does a german shepherd dog have to do with it actually a lot i think most girls love dogs of course there are girls that love cats i i love both but if you got a dog that's like a plus for you okay that, that's a plus right but um that was slick of of Ozma by the end of the episode okay he got the love letter that was given to him by May even though it was never written by her obviously it was written by uh some random background character because she was going to go, go give it to Ozma whether she was a girl from in the same class or from another class we don't know and given the fact that you know may can't read anything of that sort she's all she knows is is for him so asking komura to give it i knew it was going to be like a misunderstanding on komura's part and everything but um kudos to azuma man he's been looking out for komura and like i said i hope um we get to see more interactions with them and they become friends the you know the trope of like the popular guy with the unpopular guy the loser guy become friends because this is seem this is a wholesome series and everything so i get i hope we get to see more and the reason i say that is because it'll at least have where Ozuma is going to push komura in the right direction to eventually confess his feelings for may but what i also found interesting is um, and then again, it's depending on the terminology that May use on in the Japanese, but she did say um, Suki twice for both of them. So I don't know the levels of her liking Azuma and Komura if they're on the same playing field or she likes Komura a little bit more than Azuma. And of course, probably yes, she does like Komura more simply because she hangs out with him more and he helps her a lot and they're dust make so that does give the leverage. But at the same time, the reason why I'm saying it, if it's like on the same playing field, because we don't know if her feelings are that of just, I'm liking you as a friend or I'm liking you romantically, but it was hinted or she's not fully aware of her feelings of her romantic sense, but um, she's feeling something. So I guess she's still in that stage of trying to figure out where her feelings lie towards Kom Komura. At least we know from, from the first episode, Komura definitely has a major crush on May, without a doubt that even Azuma was able to point it out to him through the left. okay? So now it's just leaving towards May. And like I said, and I'm thinking everybody who's watching the episode, they're probably hoping that, you know, Azuma becomes a wingman. And hopefully he's, you know, in more and more episodes as they come, okay? And he makes kind of a trio, but he's the one that's overlooking the development stage. He's, he wants to be there to see when these two, these two lovable people get together, okay, and, and blossom in their love. 
But um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, May keeps forgetting her glasses or anything, you know, the sea water, the cockroach, that's understandable. Again, I, hold on, can you see, I forced it. I'm going to try to put on my glasses without closing my eyes. Okay, it's possible, it's possible, <laughs> it's possible. I thought, I probably I do it um subconsciously. I put on my glasses and have my eyes closed subconsciously. Probably that's it, why? Because I'm, 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 I'm doing it towards you guys, so. Regardless of that fact, um, guys, if you saw this week's episode of The Girl That I Like, Forgot Her Glasses, episode 3, how do you feel about this week's episode? Do you guys also wish to see more of Ozuma? Do you think he's going to play some type of role in the development of Komura and May's potential romance? Also, do you think what he did by the end of the episode was pretty slick of him? Like, not slick bad, but slick good? And, um... Yeah, just basically tell me your thoughts on it. If you're a manga reader, do tell me how you feel about the um, adaptation of this episode versus its manga chapter. Do you also feel like they uh, put like at least three or four different segments? Well, not three. Well, probably three different chapters or different little stories in this episode compared to episodes one and two. The links are in the description box so you guys go check that out. And I'm Kimmy Chan of Anime Legends and I will see you guys later. Bye!